can one say. It's too late to turn back. Time, but you know, I, I, I wish he, he and a lot of other youngsters would understand the danger of road motorbikes. Um, that they are not professional riders and it's very difficult to control them. Ten times out of ten at high speed. Life has to go on, and uh, we have things to do. There are a lot of people who are dependent on what we do. Um, so, while we breathe, you know, we still have to continue doing what we have to do. The last time I spoke to him was about a month ago. I mean, I was just at the same place as him for the last three or four nights, but I didn't get a chance to speak to him. He did tell me that he was coming back for the month. What's your last memory of, of Germany? I mean, I don't know if you can have any lasting memory for somebody, of somebody who 20 something years. I mean, uh, I don't know if there's anybody who experienced Germany from that age, where you know, as in a closer situation, closer situation as I did, you know, as his coach. Uh, you know, the difficulties we had with him training when he was at Wood when just gave those ones. Uh, you know, his maturity, his maturity, I mean, winning a medal at, at the Olympics. The injuries which, 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 which set him back badly. You know, it's, it's, it's all a jumbler thing, so, you know, at the moment, I don't have any lasting memories, but you do know that we went through a lot together. I mean, he was, he was the, one of the first people who decided that he would take a risk and train in an event like the high jump in Jamaica. Uh, he, he, of course, it was a field event which we never usually had the technical expertise for, it. and uh, and he did quite well. You know, and, you know. but life goes on.